What is going on guys? So today I want to do a quick video touching on turkesterone because I see a bunch of people, especially social media influencers, that are putting information out there that I don't believe is necessarily right. Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment, informational, and educational purposes only. I am not a doctor, consult your physician for medical advice. According to YouTube's advertiser-friendly content guidelines, ads are available on videos that provide education, music statements, or humorous references about drugs or drug paraphernalia that do not glorify them. Once again, this video is for entertainment, informational, and educational purposes only, and enjoy. So the common statements I've been seeing across social media is people asking, does turkesterone work? And the simple answer is yes. Now, if you guys want to see a full in-depth video of exactly how turkesterone works, the scientific studies and everything, I made a video on this channel just a few back. But the main reason I'm making this video today is because there's such a big misconception about turkesterone, how it works, how much results someone's going to get. Now, the first thing I see across social media is people saying turkesterone does not work because it doesn't provide this amount of results. And they're comparing it. You have to understand, a lot of these people that are saying turkesterone does not work are trying to compare it to anabolic steroids, to traditional gear, to testosterone, to Trenbolone, to Winstrol, to Anavar. And of course, it's not gonna be anywhere comparable to that. But also, turkesterone is gonna have little to no side effects. You're not even gonna need a post-cycle therapy. But comparing turkesterone to traditional gear, it's gonna be a no-brainer. Same thing can be said for turkesterone and SARMs. And the majority of people I see talking about turkesterone saying, oh, it's a waste of money, it doesn't work, don't understand there is scientific studies around it. It has been around forever. For a natural lifter who has never taken any type of anabolic, any type of performance enhancing substance, is gonna definitely benefit from taking turkesterone. Now obviously they're gonna gain more results, they're gonna gain more muscle, they're gonna gain more strength if they took a traditional cycle, of course, but that comes with inherent risks. Not only to your health, but immediately, you know, acne, hair loss, gyno, there's so many side effects that come along with anabolic steroids, and turkesterone doesn't have any of that. So it's give and take. Of course you're not gonna get as crazy of results taking turkesterone as you would taking Trenbolone. Also guys, if you need anything, the highest purity, the absolute best dosages, you can check out the link in the description down below or halfwickedlabs.com. But I see all of these social media influencers who are blasted to the gills, taking the most crazy cycles, who I know for a fact because they're friends of mine, who are taking you know testosterone, they're taking trend, they're competitors, they're stepping on stage, and they're saying turkesterone doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work for them is because their androgen receptors are so fried from all the cycles they have previously taken while stepping on stage from the testosterone, the wind straw, the primo, all the cycles absolutely fried the receptors to where if they take turkesterone, it's so mild that it's not gonna do anything for them. But they're trying to speak on their own personal experience because they fried and screwed themselves that someone that is a complete natural that has never taken anything wouldn't benefit from turkesterone. And that's just like the farthest thing from the truth because like I mentioned, if you guys go a few videos back, I have a full in-depth analysis of turkesterone, how it works, exactly the scientific studies, how long it's been around. There, it, it's a proven study, okay? It works. Now taking a turkesterone cycle, of course you're only gonna gain a little bit of results. But it's gonna be much safer, it's gonna be much more maintainable, and it's a great stepping stone for someone that might potentially down the road wanna take a traditional cycle, but they don't wanna make that big leap immediately, you know, to pinning themselves, to taking, you know, everything they need to do along with th worrying about a post-cycle therapy or worrying about your estrogen conversion, having your AI and everything on hand. There's just so much that goes into it and so much research if you don't have a coach that you need to understand before you jump into a traditional cycle that turkesterone is just a no-brainer. It's so easy. So I just want to make this video short and sweet, guys. I want to tell you turkesterone 100% works. On my life, on my word, there's scientific studies out there. If you guys you know, don't wanna go back to my video, you guys can do your own research, your own studies. Type it in in Google. Just type in turkesterone scientific studies. You're gonna find a plethora of information. And for the people out there that are blasting crazy amounts of gear, wondering why turkesterone isn't working, it's because your androgen receptors are absolutely fried to where you need Trenbolone, testosterone, Winstrol, everything to even feel like you're remotely anabolic. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to smash a like on it. Like I mentioned, um, if you guys need anything, check out the link in the description down below. Turkesterone, among all the other things you will ever need. Appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you guys have any experience taking turkesterone, agree with me, disagree with me, whatever your stance is, I wanna hear it in the comments down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one.